Hello Taurus, Sun and Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. We're going to see how the both of you are currently viewing this relationship and how you guys feel about it and what actions you guys plan on taking each other's direction and or moving forward. So Taurus, um, I do want to go over the overall energy that I was picking up on as well as prepping the deck for your reading for today. So Taurus, there is an overall energy of you currently feeling like you have a lot on your plate and I do feel like it has a lot to do with the amount of responsibilities that you have now I do kind of also feel Taurus like for some of you out there you know you could find yourself connecting with somebody that you feel like you can't really rely and or depend on for absolutely anything and I feel like that itself really does bother you that you can't really rely or depend on this person for absolutely anything causing you to essentially feel like you have to do all the heavy lifting around here because you can't really rely or depend on them um, to lighten the load um, whatsoever is basically what I was getting okay so for some of you there's a possibility that you could find yourself in like a codependent type of situation with someone where there's somebody in your life that's very very codependent off of you that's definitely a possibility um, and it's definitely an energy that I was picking up on very very strongly that you could find yourself um, in a codependent relationship where there is someone um, that is very very codependent off of you to the point where you do feel like technically speaking you have to do everything all by yourself because you can't really rely on them or depend on them um to be there for you um and, and help you out in any way shape or form it's basically what i was picking up on taurus but with all that being said taurus let's get started let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship now keep in mind this energy that i'm describing taurus it could be your energy it could be something that you're currently going through or something that you've been going through for quite some time now with someone or this could definitely represent somebody else's energy because when I pick up energy, I'm picking up energy in and around you. So this could definitely represent, you know, your significant other's energy. It could also represent um, somebody that you're energetically connected to, like a family member or friend that's going through this. So just keep that in mind, all right, Taurus? But let's see how you're currently viewing this relationship. How does Taurus currently view this relationship? All right. Taurus. So we do have, hmm, we do have the Queen of Swords with the Six of Swords, and then we also have the Seven of Wands. There's an overall energy, Taurus, of you distancing yourself from someone. I don't feel like you're severing ties or anything like that with someone. I just feel like you're distancing yourself from someone in particular. And I'm kind of curious as to why, Taurus, you're distancing yourself. Um, from whoever this person is. So let's look a little bit more um, into why you're distancing yourself from whoever this person is. Tell me more about the um, Six of Swords. Yeah, there's somebody in your life, Taurus, family member, friend, romantic interest, whatever have you, but there's definitely someone in your life, Taurus, um, that's definitely causing you to feel very drained and very depleted and overwhelmed. Now, there is an overall energy of you essentially feeling like maybe you should end things with this person. Maybe you should stop dealing with this person. Maybe you should just bring this entire situation to an end and call it a day. But we don't see you doing that. And it could very well be because there's an emotional attachment here making it hard for you to just sever ties with this person, just end the, the, the relationship that you share with this person. But I am definitely getting that, Taurus, that there is somebody in your life that does cause you to feel very overwhelmed, very drained, and very depleted. You could be dealing with an energy vampire. That's definitely a possibility, Taurus. But with that type of swords energy coming out here, that's kind of telling me that there's a part of you that feels like, you know what, I should really walk away from this marriage. I should really walk away from this relationship. I really should walk away from this friendship, but let me not do that. Let me not do that. And it's because there's an emotional attachment here um, that makes it very, very hard uh, for you to just cut this person out of your life and just keep it moving. Um, all right, let's look at your person. Let's see how they're currently viewing this relationship with you. Okay, so we do have the Page of Wands, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We also have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy, with the Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. Mm. Okay, so in regards to how this person is currently viewing um, 
this relationship with you. I'm getting an overall energy of somebody trying to like reel you back in. Um, and I feel like this is like the very person that you're actually distancing yourself from, Taurus, that's trying to like reel you back in um, in some way, shape or form. They're trying to reel you back in all over. Um, again, I feel like this person can obviously tell, you know what I mean? That, you know, you're, you're distancing yourself from them. You're not talking to them as much as you used to. You're not hanging out with them as much as you used to. But I feel like somebody is like trying to like reel you back in like, Hey Taurus, you know, want to go grab a bite to eat or Hey Taurus, like want to hang out or Hey Taurus, like, uh, can you call me or Hey Taurus, what are you up to? Like, I feel like there's somebody that's trying to like reel you back in, but it's the same person you've been distancing yourself from that's trying to reel you back in, um, all over again. It's basically what I'm getting. And it's mainly because this person does kind of notice that you're starting to kind of distance yourself from them. And I don't necessarily feel like they like it, to be completely honest. I want to ask one more time how they're currently viewing this relationship with you. How does this person uh, view this relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Double confirmation that this person's noticing you become more and more and more and more distant uh, from them. And like I said, dude, it doesn't look like they like it, okay? Um, there's an overall energy of them essentially feeling like you could very well be distancing yourself from them because they said something or they did something um, that really upset you to the point where, you know, you now feel the need that you have to distance yourself from them. But they just can't help but to notice how things are drastically changing here between the two of you. It kind of looks like, you know, you guys went from talking on a regular basis to talking, I don't know, like twice a week, once a week, if that, like they can't help but to notice a drastic shift. In other words, um, within your overall energy towards them, which is causing them to feel like, oh my gosh, like maybe I said something wrong. Maybe I did something wrong. And that's why Taurus is distancing themselves from me. So it kind of looks like you're distancing yourself from this person, but you're not telling this person like, hey, this is why I'm distancing myself from you. This is why I'm protecting my energy from you. I don't feel like you had that conversation with them whatsoever. I just feel like you just took it upon yourself to distance yourself from this person due to the way this dynamic between the two of you was making you feel is basically what I'm getting, okay? Let's jump back over to you, Taurus, to see how you're currently feeling. How does Taurus currently feel? We have the, uh, okay, we have the Two of Cups, Cancer Energy, with the Justice card, Libra Energy, as well as the Four of Cups, uh, more of that Cancer Energy. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Cancer strongly. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be the case. You might just have that within your chart, or maybe your person does. But in regards to how you're currently feeling about this entire situation, I don't feel like this is describing how you feel about said person over here um i feel like this is you know how you're feeling towards somebody that you're romantically involved with now you don't have to be in a committed relationship with this person or married to this person or anything like that this could just you know represent that you're currently you know somebody that you're currently dating so just kind of keep that in mind but i feel like you're kind of noticing that everybody around you causes you to essentially feel the exact same way that this person, the said person to the right of me is making you feel. Um, it's basically what I'm getting towards. It's like you're, you're, you're kind of feeling like you're surrounding yourself with a bunch of energy vampires that leave you extremely drained and extremely depleted. And you don't necessarily like that. And there's an overall energy of you wanting to do something about it. But the thing is, is that you just don't know what to do. You just don't know what to do. Because if you distance yourself from your significant other, they're more than likely going to kind of feel the exact same way that this person feels like, oh my God, I probably, you know, said something wrong or did something wrong why are they treating me this way why are they distancing themselves from me like do they not like me do they not want to be friends with me anymore like I just kind of feel like I just kind of feel like there's a possibility Taurus that you could just be surrounding yourself with like a boatload of like energy vampires or you could just be surrounding yourself with a lot of people um 
that end up leaving you extremely drained and depleted because they're constantly like fighting um, and feeding for your attention. And that's kind of what I'm getting primarily towards is that I feel like there's a lot of people around you that want your attention, that want your energy, that's constantly like, you know, feeding, I would say for your, your energy, your aura, all of that jazz to the point where the moment you find yourself surrounding yourself with these people, you at the end of the day are left feeling very, very drained and very depleted and you absolutely hate it because by the end of the day, it's like you don't have energy to do fucking anything. You know what I mean? I kind of feel... I kind of feel, Taurus, like you're dedicating and devoting a lot of time and energy towards everybody else but yourself. You know, th this just basically represents like an energy, Taurus, of you needing a little bit of me time. You know what I mean? But I don't necessarily feel like you're taking time out to just do you for a little while and just isolate yourself from people because again it's like you have like a boatload of people that's constantly like fiending you know for your energy like hey Taurus want to hang out hey Taurus let's go grab a bite to eat or hey Taurus let's go hang out you know it's like you're constantly like dealing with that to the point where you don't even have time to just relax be to yourself and just enjoy some me time is basically what I'm getting because there's people that are constantly like wanting your attention and fighting for your attention is kind of what I'm getting um I also kind of feel Taurus like you don't want anybody else to take this whole you distancing yourself from them the wrong way but unfortunately it kind of looks like these people do you know take you wanting to distance yourself from them the wrong way it causes these people to feel like oh like maybe Taurus is mad at me or maybe Taurus just doesn't like me anymore or maybe it's just Taurus is just they're losing interest in me like I don't feel like it has anything to do with you losing interest in your significant other or you not wanting to you know um not be friends with this person to the right of me or anything like that I just kind of feel like you're being bombarded by a lot of stuff all at once which is causing you to feel like you have a lot on your plate which is also causing you to feel extremely overwhelmed um to the point where all you really want to do is distance yourself from these people just to kind of like recharge your batteries if you if you will and kind of regroup but i feel like these people don't even give you a chance to do that because you got this one over here blowing up your phone you got your significant other over here like honey let's watch a movie together honey let's do this let's do that you, you don't want to do anything right now from the looks of it but but go into like hermit mode and just kind of recharge your batteries and just kind of be to yourself is basically what I'm getting. I also kind of feel like not only are you dealing with people constantly fighting for your energy and your attention and fiending for your energy at that. You also have other things that require your attention, like your business, if you have one, um, you know, your job, you know, and for, for some of you out there, you could very well be students. So having to make time and room to get your education on, like, I feel like there's other things that require your time and energy as well. So by the end of the day, right, it's like you feel so drained and depleted because you invested all of, you know, your time and energy towards your education towards your business if you have one towards work and then now you're focusing on this one and what this one wants from you now you're focusing on that one and what that one wants from you it's like you're catering to all of these damn people you know what I mean to the point where you're forgetting about yourself Taurus you're forgetting about yourself how does this person currently feel uh, okay so we have the seven of wands we also have the seven of pentacles and then we also have the uh ten of swords out here this person to the right of me they feel more like a family member or a friend because i'm getting like an overall energy of like somebody dumping like all of their problems onto you is basically what i'm getting um, I feel like whoever this person is to the right of me, it's somebody who vents to you a lot about their problems and what they're going through and, you know, how much life sucks and, you know, how that, you know, guy at the grocery store was a real douchebag. Like, I just feel like this person in particular dumps a lot of stuff onto you, Taurus. Like, you know, the drama that they're going through within their marriage or their relationship or with friends or family members. Like, I feel like this person just dumps all their problems onto you. And that was, 
you know, another thing that was getting towards, right, is that I feel like this person to the right of me is somebody that you care for deeply. It's someone that you genuinely do love. And there's a big part of you that just wants to sever ties with this person and just wrap this up and call it a day. But your heart just won't let you do it because you, you love them so much and you care about them so much. Um, but this constant them dumping their problems onto you and them venting to you from sun up to sundown, it's just... It's just exhausting and overwhelming and, and you just don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? Especially because you already have so much on your plate already. So to have to like deal with this person, all the problems that come with them and them dumping all of their problems onto you, it's just too much. It's just too much. For some of you, you honestly could very well be considering and taking like a mini vacay very, very soon. What actions? I, not only do you feel emotionally drained and depleted, but you feel mentally drained and depleted and physically drained and depleted. But I feel like it's, like I said, Taurus, I feel like it's because these people that you're surrounding yourself with, they more than likely are energy vampires. Not only that, but they do come off to me as people as people who don't necessarily have boundaries of their own. So therefore, they don't even respect yours. Does that make sense? Um, because I feel like you've tried to establish boundaries with these people. But I feel like because they don't necessarily have boundaries of their own, um, you know, they tend to unfortunately um, overstep other people's boundaries. You know, like boundaries? What is that? Yeah, no, we, we don't need boundaries here. You know, like it has that type of feel to it. Because they don't have boundaries of their own, they typically don't respect other people's boundaries. Um, and I just kind of feel like it's leaving you completely tapped and, and depleted mentally, spiritually, and physically. But with the Four of Pentacles coming out here, even though you don't like the fact that people in your life are causing you to feel very, very drained and very depleted, there's like this energy of, well, I just got to keep going. 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 But this, this energy of, I just got to keep going. I just got to keep going is causing you to literally run on fumes, Taurus. It literally is because you're not taking time to cater to yourself because you're too busy catering to everybody else around you. You know what I mean? To the point where you're starting to kind of run on fumes here. Um, is basically what I'm getting. What else can you tell me for Taurus? Yeah. I feel like there's going to come a point in time, Taurus, where you're just going to snap. You're just going to snap, um, whether it be on your significant other, whether it be on this one over here or just some random person. I am definitely getting like an overall energy of you snapping on someone in particular and or multiple people. But I just kind of feel like it has a lot to do with what I already mentioned, Taurus. It's like you're, you're, you're just trying to... You're just trying your hardest to just keep it together and just keep going. You know what I mean? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. And it's it's getting to that point, Taurus, where you're just like, I don't want to keep swimming. What I want to do is be in bed all day and not have anybody call me, text me, look for me, ask for me. Like, that's all you want, Taurus. But again you kind of feel like this obligation to these people around you to the point where you feel like you can't. You can't take time out to just focus on you. You can't take time out to just you know, be by yourself. You know what I mean? You just can't because this one needs you and this one needs you and that one over there needs you. And look, this one over here is calling you. You know what I mean? To the point where we're kind of seeing like a massive internal buildup within you and there's gonna come a point in time where you're going to explode because it's gonna happen. And you might take it out on somebody that isn't trying to drain you or deplete you. So you might take it out, like I said, on a random stranger. You might take it out on you know somebody who didn't do anything to you. Or you might take it out on these people that are constantly draining your energy and depleting um, your energy. You just might, but we're, we're kind of seeing like a massive buildup going on. Um, you know, within you, Taurus, is basically what I'm getting to the point where you will eventually explode. You will eventually explode because you're going to start to notice yourself running on fumes and you're going to start to notice that you're kind of ne neglecting yourself while you're over here catering to all these people. You know what I mean? 
yeah it's basically what i'm getting at the bottom of the deck we do have the strength card we have the chariot and then we also have the um emperor with the four of swords i feel like i'm picking up on this person that you're romantically involved with and again this could be somebody that you're just dating or married to or in a committed relationship with but your person hates being away from you like don't get me wrong like they could be away from you for like a few hours, but like for hours and hours and hours and hours on end, like, no, they're not okay with that. This person does come off to me as somebody who's very, very attached to you. I am kind of getting like a very clinging energy off of this person. Um, I am definitely getting that, like a very clingy energy off of this person. I feel like this person really does hate being away from you. Like they really do hate being away from you. Like I said, like they can go like an hour or two, you know, being away from you. And of course, if you have to go to work or whatever, like, all right, they're okay with that. But after you're done with work, come straight home. You know what I mean? And let's spend some time together. Like it has that type of feel to it. But I just... I just kind of feel, Taurus, like you're going to eventually distance yourself from a lot of people, including your significant other, including whoever this person is to you, because you're going to, you're going to not only explode, but you're going to want to retract your energy after you do explode. Because I feel like you're going to explode first. Um, and then that's when you're going to be like, everybody leave me the hell alone. Like, everybody leave me the hell alone. Don't call me. Don't text me. Do not email me. Do not knock my on my damn door. Don't ring my damn doorbell. Leave me alone. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like that's how you're going to get after you explode. And I feel like when you do explode, Taurus, a lot of people around you are going to feel some type of way. You know, I mean, the fact that you're distancing yourself from this one, like they feel some type of way about it. They do. You know, they feel like they either said something or did something wrong. Um, they're not entirely sure, though, because I am definitely getting that. They're not entirely sure if they did say something or, or do something that rubbed you the wrong way. And that's why you're distancing yourself from them. But either which way, they're trying to like reel you back in. And it is kind of stemming from a place of them also trying to kind of figure out like, is Taurus mad at me? like did I say something did I do something like what's going on um but again Taurus um I just kind of feel like the moment you do start to distance yourself from these people everybody's gonna feel some type of way everybody's gonna feel some type of way it's like I see like at least two people getting butt hurt is kind of what I'm getting by you distancing yourself from them and you just kind of needing some like me time because I feel like some me time dude will do you some freaking good I think that you just need to kind of like recharge your batteries but Taurus to avoid this massive like blowout right from transpiring I feel like you need to like let people know like hey listen like I really do need my me time I really do need my space and I really do need you guys to respect that now there's a possibility Taurus that when you do tell these people listen I need my me time I need my space like I just need some time to recharge my batteries please and thank you there is a huge possibility that these people are not going to respect that um because I am definitely getting an energy of you dealing with at least two people that don't necessarily have boundaries of their own so therefore they don't respect anybody else's boundaries um so there's a possibility that you might say these things like hey I need my space I need some time to myself I need some time to recharge my batteries there's a huge possibility that these people may not respect that um and if in the event they don't respect that which they more than likely won't that could cause you to essentially snap but like I said there's a possibility that we could definitely avoid this massive like blowout from transpiring here um, between you and your significant other and then you and this family member you and this friend of yours um, by you know just kind of laying the law down like look I need my space I need some time to recharge my batteries like everybody leave me alone don't call me don't text me do not email me leave me alone. Okay. Um, and hopefully they'll respect it, um, to like avoid obviously like this massive blowout from happening, but there's a possibility that you may, you know, try to do things the right, by, right way by telling these people, Hey, listen, I'm just feeling really drained and really depleted. And I just need a whole day to myself, please. And thank you. Um, and respect that, you know, there's a huge possibility that you might sit there and tell these people that, you know, to do the right thing. So that way nobody's feeling any type of way. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a possibility that, you know, th these people may overstep your, your boundaries and not respect your wishes. Because again, you're, you're, you're dealing with people, Taurus, that, how do I explain these people? You're dealing with people that 
come off to me anyways as like energy vampires. Like these people feed off of your energy, okay? These people being your significant other, your family members, your friends, they feed off of your energy. Um, and, and this is kind of why you feel so drained and depleted is because you're dealing with a lot of people that feed off of your energy. Um, so yeah, I think it is safe to say that you are dealing with a bunch of energy vampires, to be honest. Um, you, you more than likely are. Um, Taurus, you more than likely are. I feel like, you know what's so weird is that I feel like, how do I explain like these people? It's like they rely on you to feel good about themselves is kind of what I'm getting. Like your significant other relies on you to make them happy. They rely on you to do things around the house. They rely on, you know, you to just make them feel good about themselves. You know, I am definitely getting that strongly that your significant other relies on you for a lot of things. But I also feel like this family member or friend relies on you to be there for them um, and be their support system and hear them out when they're going through something and um, come up with a solution to fix their problems and stuff like that. Um... You know, for some of you, you could very well be therapists because I am definitely getting that. Um, or people just look at you like you are a therapist, I guess, like family members and friends. Like you're the therapist of the family. You're the therapist of the friend group. And, you know, your friends and family members will constantly call you, you know, telling you about their problems, seeking for guidance and advice because I am definitely getting that. But let's see what actions this person plans on taking in your direction and are moving forward. It's crazy because... I can tell how much these people rely on you. I can tell how much these people feed off of your energy. I can just tell because it's like the moment you distance yourself. Look at this. Let me get let me show you how the cards actually came out. So it's like the moment you distance yourself, right? For example, from your significant other. It's like we immediately see this person getting butt hurt. We immediately, you know, see this person, you know, feeling like lost and, and conflicted, you know, about life. Like, okay, so now what do I do for the whole entire day? Because Taurus is gone. So it's like, now what am I going to do? Like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Like, um, I also kind of feel like their mind is kind of going off the deep end here. Like, what does this mean? Like, what, 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 what does this mean that they need a whole day to themselves? Like, do, okay, does that mean that they're mad at me? Does this mean that, like, I did something wrong? Like, what did I do last night to piss Taurus off? Maybe that's what it was. Maybe I did something last night to piss Taurus off, and that's why they need space from me. I feel like they're freaking out. I don't feel like they did anything last night to piss you off, okay? I just feel like that's what's going on, is that these people are you know, feeding off of your energy, leaving you drained and depleted to the point where not only do you have to focus on, you know, the things that you need to focus on, like your business, if you have one or work, whatever have you, your education, but you also have to kind of make room for your kids if you have them. You also have to make time for them and give them, you know, love, attention, care, all that, you know, wonderful stuff. And then once you're done doing that, you got to focus on this one and all the problems that they got going on. And then you have to think of a solution to their problems. And then once you're done with them, you know, you have to cater to your significant other. Are they hungry? Okay. What am I going to cook today? You know what I mean? Oh, got to clean the house and oh, got to do the dishes. Like you're, you're, you are literally, literally you're, you're dedicating and devoting your whole entire day to everybody else and what everybody wants you to do. And you're completely forgetting about yourself in the process. You know what I mean? It's like the moment you distance your, yourself, you know, from your significant other as well as this person in particular. It's like they just don't know what to do with themselves. Like, now what am I going to do? Now who am I going to talk to? What am I supposed to do this whole entire freaking day? Like, what am I supposed to do? Because Taurus said that they're going to be gone the whole day. So it's like, what am I going to do? Hmm. I guess I'll just play some video games. And then once they're done playing video games, they're just like, okay, um, you know, uh, what the hell? When are they going to come back? I'm, you know, I'm kind of feeling out of place here, a little bit bored, you know what I mean? Like, what am I going to do? Like, you know, to the point where I do feel, and I'm going to be real with you, I do feel like even if you do attempt to do things the right way by telling these people, hey, listen, like, I am very stressed right now. I am very overwhelmed my net right now. I just need some time and space to myself, like, trying to do things the right way, you know, so that way nobody feels any type of way or, or thinks that you're mad at them. But I feel like even when you do try to do things the right way, I, I do feel like you're going to still blow up, right? Because you're going to start to realize like, okay, um, these people are not respecting how I feel. I, I, I just want, I just want a day to myself. 
that's it. That's all I want. Just, just one day. Just, just, just give me one day to myself. You know what I mean? And I feel like, you know, you go off and you take that one day to yourself. You know what I mean? And then it's only a matter of time before your significant other is calling you like, hey, honey, when are you going to come back? I'm bored. I don't know what to do with myself. And then it's only a matter of time before this one's like, hey, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just stressing out about this. I'm sure I just need to talk to you. You know what I mean? It's like to the point where I do feel like you're going to blow up, unfortunately. And you know what? I don't blame you if you do blow up because I, I do see you attempting to do things the right way by just telling people like, hey, listen, I need a break. Like, just give me a day. Like, I just, I want a day to myself, please. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, a few hours go by and here, here, here these people are blowing up your phone, looking for you and, and calling you and bothering you to the point where it's like, it's, it's taking up time, you know, that you're trying to devote to yourself. You know what I mean? All right. So, yeah, I do see that happening, Taurus. All right. What messages can you give me for Taurus in regards to this spread? So we have past life relationship. Mm. Past life relationship. Very similar to the um, judgment card for me as a reader as well as the Six of Cups. I feel like you have a pattern of doing this, Taurus. Um where you find yourself dedicating and devoting all of your time and energy towards what everybody else wants you to do to the point where you do tend to kind of forget about yourself. I feel like you have a pattern of doing this. Um, we also have stay optimistic um, about your love life. And then we also have retreats. Okay. Um, Taurus, I feel like everybody around you needs to understand that you're not a robot. Okay, let's just start there. You're not a robot. You're a human being that gets tired and overwhelmed, just like everybody else, okay? Um, now, just because, you know, you need time to yourself doesn't necessarily mean that you, you hate this person's guts or you hate your significant other's guts. It just means that you're not a damn robot. You're a human being and you need time, you know, to dedicate and, and devote to yourself. Uh, you need time to recharge your batteries, you know, things of that nature. So the people around you just need to be understanding and just accept the fact that you're human and you're going to want some time to yourself and you're going to need some time to yourself. Um, they also need to, um, they also need to like understand too that, they're going to be perfectly fine, you know, by you taking a day off. You know what I mean? It's as if they feel like the world is coming to an end because you're deciding to distance yourself from them for like a whole day or like a whole two days. You know what I mean? Like that's how much these people rely on you, to be honest. Um, but we do have retreat. You're going to be retracting your energy very, very soon. And, and when you do retract your energy, um, Taurus, you're going to feel a lot better but you need to retract your energy you need some me time and these people need to understand that especially your significant other because i feel like your significant other is very very worried that you're distancing yourself from them it's causing them to feel like oh my gosh maybe i said something maybe i did something and it's like they're starting to kind of think back like the night before the day before because i keep getting that off of this person like, did i say something last night to piss Taurus off and that's why they want a whole day to themselves or a whole two days to themselves or is that why they're taking this mini vacay from me like did I say something last night did I do something last night um I, I think that the relationship in itself is perfectly fine I don't feel like they did anything last night like I said to piss you off I just feel like you need some me time the bottom of the deck we do have love yourself first okay you know this is very similar to the nine of pentacles nine of cups and tarot I think that not only do you need to take time um to just get away from absolutely everyone but when you do take time to get away from everyone yes take time to recharge your batteries but also take this moment Taurus to like do something that's gonna make you happy like shopping or like getting your nails done or like reading a book or meditating whatever it is that you love and enjoy to do that really does uplift your spirits like do it during this downtime. Do it during this mini vacay. Do it when you decide to take this day off so that way you can just do you for a little while. Like, just do it. Don't worry about money or, oh, let me not spend because, no, don't worry about all of that. Like, money is going to come back to you. That's Money comes and goes. That's besides the point. Like, treat yourself. Do something that's going to uplift your spirits, dude. And when you do decide to come back, you're going to find yourself super recharged and everything like that. But like I said, Taurus, this is a vicious cycle, okay? Um, this is what you typically do, right? You, you get overwhelmed so much to the point where now you're running on fumes, right? And then you 
unfortunately, like lash out at everybody. And it could just be because these people don't respect how you feel. Or maybe you're that type of person that really does just need some time and space to yourself, but you're not voicing that to these other people until now you're really ticked off and now you're just blowing up on everyone. That's definitely a possibility as well. But Taurus, spirit really does want you to find a way to take time out for yourself. So that way you're not allowing it to get to this point where you're basically running on fumes and here you are lashing out at everybody because, you know, people just refuse to give you your time and your space um, to yourself, right? So to avoid um, history from repeating itself here, Taurus, definitely make it a priority to take time to do you for a little while, okay? Like make it a habit, make it a priority so that way you're not running on fumes anymore. So that way you're not waiting until the last minute to the point where you can find yourself running on fumes and now you're lashing out at people because you just want some me time but you can't get no me time because your husband wants you to cook dinner or your wife wants you to cook dinner and then you got this friend over here that just wants to dump all their problems onto you so that way you can fix their problems for, you know what I mean? It's just a lot going on all at once. So make it a priority, dude, to take time time to do you for a little while even if it causes people around you to feel some type of way Taurus like you gotta understand you're kind of useless to this family member or this friend of yours or your significant other if you're over here running on fumes you're kind of useless to these people you in order to help other people you got to help yourself first and and you can't really do that Taurus running on fumes you just can't do that you can't be there for your significant other in the ways that you would obviously want to because again you're running on fumes you don't have energy to do anything okay so it's time that you break out of this vicious cycle and start doing things differently and once you do you're going to notice a drastic shift within your overall energy taurus okay so that's what i have for you hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated and i will see you guys in your next reading bye